Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I decided to try something new and we'll see how it goes. So I was scrolling um, you know, through some movies the other day and I saw this movie. I read the title and I kind of like skimmed the description and I was like that sounds uh, interesting. Like It's either going to be fun or it's going to be really bad. But um, the movie is called The Other Zoe, and it's about this girl named Zoe who starts dating this guy um, who has amnesia and thinks that she is his girlfriend because all he remember or all he knows is that he was dating some girl named Zoe, and she liked him, so she is like, "Yeah, we were dating," and that's that's the story. Um, it sounds like, what's that movie with Sandra Bullock, um, where she like works at the like the train station and she sees that guy every day and then she saves him he's in a coma and everybody thinks they were together because he had a fiance and she just goes along with it. Um, but this one sounds worse, uh, because he was unconscious, like they were not, uh, like nothing was happening between them. However, in this one, he just has amnesia and she is pretending that she is his girlfriend. Anyways, anyways, let me read the description. Zoe Miller, a super smart computer major, uninterested in romantic love, of because of course, um, has her life turned upside down when Zach, the school's soccer star, gets amnesia and mistakes Zoe for his girlfriend. So that's the movie. It stars Josephine Langford, Drew Starkey and Archie Renault. The movie came out last year in 2023. It's about an hour and a half long. And well, we're gonna watch it and see because I I think this is gonna be one of those movies where it like thinks it's cute and it thinks everything that it's doing is cute, but it's actually really creepy and it's like that's that's really bad. Kind of like uh with the Sierra Birds the loser. But I think this is going to be much worse than that. We'll see. I might be wrong. But I think it's weird. Because unlike in While You Were Sleeping, the Sandra Bullock movie, where she's going along pretending that she's this guy's fiance, he is in a coma. So like there's nothing happening between them. And she falls in love with his brother. This guy just has amnesia and she's just like, yeah, sure. I mean, that might be. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, gonna, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, I'm gonna watch this movie and then I'll be back. I will be back with my thoughts because I will have some. So the audio when I was recording, it, it did not record. There is no sound for this clip. So what I'm gonna do is just go over the gist of what I said. So the movie opened with this girl giving a presentation in a lecture class about uh, the day Va Valentine's Day and the history of St. Valentine and her version of the story is a very romanticized inaccurate uh, retelling of her the story but it's cute it's fun the class is loving it the professor thinks it's cute our girl Zoe is like boo that's not what happened just harshes everybody's mellow so immediately we're understanding that Zoe does not like love she does not like romance she's very against it so much so that if other people enjoy it she's going to criticize and make fun of you like you can't even have fun about it because she hates it so much and that's how we start off the movie she's one of those infuriating type of anti-love people it's just annoying so now back to our regularly scheduled material Okay, so we have met the two love interests for the story. We've got, I have already forgotten their names. I'm just gonna call them Guy 1 and Guy 2. Um, or actually Tech Guy and Soccer Guy. There we go. So Zoe goes to this, there's a speaker visiting who's like this big tech person. So she's at the end of the Q&A session and this guy in the back tech guy asks the question and is like 
oh, you know, what do you think about, you know, since Valentine's Day, what do you think about love and like science or whatever? Um, and so then, which is a stupid question to ask. Like, why would you waste this person's time asking this question? It's unrelated to the topic. It's like they they loosely tried to relate it to the topic um, by it being like, oh, you know, is love real or is it just like, you know, because of capitalism or whatever. So then she gives her answer that she believes in love and science. And then he, just like Zoe did in that class, basically is like, no, it doesn't exist, you know, because X, Y, Z reasons. It's just a product of capitalism, blah, 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 blah. So then Zoe is there and she's like, oh, hard eyes, because she just said this exact same thing earlier in the day. And then he quotes some author who said something and it's this book that she has on her bookshelf so she's like oh my gosh um but ugh, they both just seem really insufferable because like every little thing about love and valentine's day zoe is hating on her roommate and best friend gets her um a valentine's day themed coffee and um, she's like, oh, that sounds good. And then she finds out that it's the Valentine's Day coffee. And then she's like, ew, like, ugh, like, it's a coffee with rose in it. Like, get over yourself. Um, and then they're watching, her and her roommate are watching some rom-com. And she's like, ugh, like, this is so formulaic. It's so this, it's so, like, just, just hating on it so hard. Like, goodness, like, okay you might not like something but why do you have to like bash it towards people who you know enjoy this thing and like this thing it's annoying and then the other love interest that she meets is soccer guy so her and her friend are walking through the quad with their coffees and she gets hit in the head with a soccer ball um and he comes over he's like i'm so sorry whatever and she's just like whatever like they have soccer fields like why are you doing this here i like who cares whatever and then he's like okay and then goes back to playing soccer and her roommate is like oh my gosh do you know who that is so he's like the the sporty popular guy who everybody knows but Zoe's not like other girls so she doesn't know him she's not in the loop so her roommate is like he was flirting with you which is weird that she says that because literally 10 minutes later in the movie or maybe five minutes, it doesn't matter. Not long after, they're having a conversation about how he has a girlfriend who he's been dating for three weeks. So why would you, so why are you encouraging your friend to like flirt with this guy who you know has a girlfriend? But I'm getting ahead of myself. So then cut to the main point of drama or whatever in the movie, the thing it's all about, the amnesia. So Zoe works at a bookstore, soccer guy comes in looking for a book, he's swiping his card to pay for the book, and he leaves his card. So she goes out after him, he's riding on his bike away, she's calling his name, he turns around, he's riding through a parking lot, this car starts backing out and because he's looking over his shoulder at Zoe, he doesn't see it, he crashes into the back of the car, rolls over it, and then falls out on the other side of the car and it bops his head on the ground. That's why you should wear a helmet when you ride your bike. She said when she doesn't wear a helmet who rides her bike. That didn't make sense. She said knowing she herself doesn't wear a helmet when she rides her bike. There we go. I have an excuse for not wearing a helmet. I have really big hair and a lot of helmets don't account for afros. I can only wear a helmet if I like spend a million years flattening my hair. My afro isn't even, I mean, it's big, but it's not like huge or anything. <laughs> so I have trouble putting a, a helmet on. So he cracks his head on the ground. She's like, oh my God. The guy who's driving the car is like, oh my God. They call 911. He's unconscious they're like she's like i don't know if he's breathing i don't know how to check blah, blah, blah. he starts to wake up 
and he's like looking at Zoe and he's like what's going on someone else that she's on the phone with the police or the ambulance or whatever they ask her her name she's like I'm Zoe and he's like all he's like oh good Zoe you're here and she's like what are you talking about and he's like really out of it and he's like hugging her and trying to like kiss her cheek and she's like whoa what's going on so long story short they're in the hospital his parents show up he has a concussion and he has short-term amnesia might go away i don't know if short-term is the correct i don't he has amnesia and he can't remember the past few weeks of events so his parents are like you're coming home with us so that we can look after you and his parents are like talking to her like oh my gosh we've heard so much about you we're so excited and she's like i don't know like and she's trying to be like I don't know what you're talking about but they're all talking over each other and the doctor is coming in and so then they invite her to dinner to like thank her and she's like okay like let me call my roommate so I can tell her where I am so this is the premise of the story my glasses are dirty um the premise of the story is he has a concussion and he has amnesia and because he has amnesia, they have to be very conscious of like his mental state and they can't like do anything that might upset him or cause him any like great stress because it could make the, the amnesia worse or make it last longer or whatever. Who, what, whatever, their little medical reasoning for explaining what's happening. Um, so Zoe's on the phone with her roommate telling her what happened and she's like oh yeah the other Zoe he's dating the other Zoe they've been together for like three weeks she's on the soccer team and Zoe's like I have no idea who you're talking about like I don't know who this girl is and the roommate is like yeah you guys kind of look alike and so then her roommate and so she's like I'm just gonna explain what's happening so like nothing weird like nothing happens and her roommate is like egging her which this is really weird because again you know that this guy is dating someone else what is i don't know if you can hear that i don't know if my brother is dropping weights on the floor or just um he's a dancer so sometimes he will dance and i just hear the <laughs> like so i don't know if you can hear what's ha like all those sounds that's what's happening it's my brother he's above me i don't know what's happening anyways it's really weird that her roommate is like oh yeah like you know just you just gotta pretend to be really messy really really weird because again you know he has a girlfriend you know who his girlfriend is like why are you pushing your your so-called best friend and roommate into getting with this guy also in this like he's in this vulnerable situation like he clearly is confused and doesn't know what's happening but you do and that's like taking advantage of him it's really weird it's really really weird i don't like that i don't like that but clearly that's what's gonna happen she's so worried and pressed that she's gonna confuse him and like ruin his life or whatever by like damaging his brain if she tells him oh i'm a, diff a different zoe i'm not your zoe i'm the other zoe but yeah so but just her friend that's so weird i don't know what i don't like it i don't like it but clearly what i don't like is about to happen because there would be no movie otherwise so just based off of the first 17 minutes and 47 seconds of the movie this is what i think is going to happen she's gonna go through with it pretending to be this guy's girlfriend she has who's never like dated or done anything before is gonna like the feeling of like dating and like get caught up in the the romance because he thinks that she's someone she is not and she's gonna start to like it she might start to like him too meanwhile this other guy tech guy is also going to be there and they're going to be a lot more compatible and she's going to start having feelings for him and i don't know if she's going to have feelings for both of them i think she's going to get caught up in the romance with soccer guy and like like how that feels but i think she's going to try to like keep herself from like kissing him or like doing anything that could be like weird consensual 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 consensualized i think that it'll be like like he might try to lean in to kiss her and she'll be like oh or like give me a hug tap your shoulder like 
shook hands, like whatever. But I think she, I think that's what's gonna happen. Like while she's getting all caught up with soccer guy and like you know the feelings of like what it's like to be in love in a relationship but she knows that this isn't real meanwhile she's gonna start feeling something real for tech guy and they're gonna start doing whatever which tech guy hated him when he was introduced again at that seminar where the speaker was doing whatever and he asked that stupid question because then another part i forgot to say this earlier was when he was giving his responses to like why he doesn't believe love is real and then the speaker was like well have you been in love and he was like no but i've had like you know i had crushes when i was like in school and i was like young or whatever but they were never reciprocated and blah 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 so you you're just a lonely single boy and you are mad that none of the people you liked liked you back and so now you believe that love doesn't exist for anyone at all because it just hasn't happened for you yet that's that's an insane leap in logic that you're like, well, it didn't happen for me, so it must not exist for anybody. Like, I don't care. Like, <sighs> also, you find out that Zoe is a child of divorce and it was like a really messy divorce. So that might speak to why she's so anti-love, anti-Valentine's Day. I'm gonna get back into the movie now. I'm back again. It has not been long since I recorded my last little bit, my last little comment. So here is how we get into the situation. So Zoe was invited to the dinner by, was invited to dinner by a uh, soccer guy's parents. It's like a thank you for saving him. And also because they think she is his girlfriend at the house she is going to tell his parents hey i'm not who you think i am there's been a misunderstanding here and right as she's getting ready to tell him or tell the parents guess who comes walking in the door tech guy he comes walking in the door because tech guy and soccer guy are cousins and tech guy is visiting for the weekend probably to go to that seminar and do whatever else he's been planning. So then she gets all goo goo eyes for him and the parents are like, oh, what were you saying? Um, and she's like, oh, nothing. Like, and then it's just whatever. Tech guy is not even looking at her. He, he hasn't been the whole time. After the seminar, she tried to, she chased after him to compliment him on his question and like the quote that he used. He just didn't even notice her, just hopped on his little electric scooter and rode off into the sunset. Um, and now he comes in and she's standing there and the parents are like, oh, whatever. And they're chit chatting and she's like looking at him with these like, oh, whatever. And he's not even paying her attention. He's like yelling at his cousin, like, you know, you're supposed to wear a helmet, dude. Like there's statistics on the, this is the statistics with concussions and like, and he just kind of like laughs at her and is like whatever like he he's not like look he... see now this is where it's like it's weird and her i would love to she wasn't thinking i was gonna say i would love to so are you trying to leave did he even love me or did he just want to be in my bed anyways but yeah so instead of you know continuing forward with her plan ouch to tell, hey, like, I'm not the Zoe that you think I am. Thanks for the invite to dinner. I'm sure the food will be great. Like, these people, they're not going to just be like, oh, you're not that Zoe and, like, kick her out. Like, no, she was still going to be, she's already at the house. She's already at the house. And she did save their son. And, well, she didn't really save him. She, But she helped him and assisted him. And stuff like that like it's not like they were gonna like switch up all of a sudden and be like well you know what you can get out then how about that like no that doesn't make any sense that was not gonna happen so she sees tech guy and is getting all heart eyes and then one of the parents asks her like oh isn't your family like out of town or whatever and she's like no and like yeah i play soccer and i do this so now she's just committing to the, the lie 
when she didn't have to. She could have explained what was happening and the parents might have like pulled the cousin to the side and been like, here's this, we're just gonna get you to dinner and then we'll talk with him later. Or he, the cousin could have been there while she explained this to all three of them together, whatever the case may be. In her brain, she's like, well, if I tell them, this is what, this is what it is, this is what it is. In her brain, she's like, oh, if I tell him, that I'm not the Zoe that they think I am. After I leave this dinner, I'm never gonna see them again and I'm never gonna be able to see Tech Guy again because he's so hot and I love him so much and we're clearly meant to be, but he's been like ignoring me this whole time, not paying me any attention, so I have to stay in his orbit to make him fall in love with me. And then like, cause what is, where's, where does, where does this end? So now they're at dinner and they're asking her questions about her family and stuff and she has no idea what they're talking about because they have different jobs that her parents don't like all this like she doesn't know anything about this girl and they explained where the girl is the other Zoe the actual girlfriend Zoe she's on vacation with her parents in the Bahamas which is why like she's calling and texting and stuff but like no one's answering because she I don't know if her reception's not great oh but his phone broke that's right soccer boy's phone broke when he fell so he's not getting any of her messages so she's just calling and texting whatever and it's just on scene going to voicemail but yeah so this moment is where she made a decision that makes no sense and it's gonna make everything more complicated because she has to keep this lie up. She doesn't know anything about soccer. And then soccer guy doesn't remember any of the information that he learned about her. So she is just she's just saying whatever she wants. And she's like flirting with tech guy. Like, oh, they, you know, they're eating the same way and they have the same they're in the same field of like interest, like computers and coding. And and she's like, yeah, and I wanna do this, 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 this. And like, and she's, I mean, she's not like flirting, flirting, but like if I was at that dinner table and I was watching how she was like talking and like giggling or whatever at Tech Guy, I'd be like, that's weird. It's weird. What's happening here is weird. Okay, I am gonna watch a significant portion of the movie before I stop to give my thoughts again. <laughs> She's dumb. She's so... Okay, a few things that I like. I'm about halfway through the movie. The little sister is hilarious. Soccer guy has a little sister. She's really funny. She keeps making all of these amnesia jokes. And the, the little girl who they have cast to she is just like really good at this just this dry humor she's killing it she's killing it really funny there's a scene where uh zoe and tech guy i have learned their names now i'm still gonna refer to them as tech guy and soccer guy though they're snowboarding and zoe cannot snowboard so then tech guy hangs back and is like teaching her to snowboard and so they're having like a cute little moment or whatever as they're chit-chatting and getting to know each other and uh she they are like you know touching because they're snowboarding and then she keeps falling they they, they have you know the the infamous crashing scene where uh where you know you know like two characters they like someone falls or they bump into each other um, and they fall down so then someone they're like looking at each other she crashes into him and then they're like laughing and she whatever but then there's like this um, montage there's this montage of scenes where she's like going down the hill and all these different wrong ways and she's like am I getting it am I getting it that was funny that was funny the roommate the roommate is really messy and I don't like her I don't like her she's She's not a good friend. She's not a good friend. Cause Zoe's feeling bad because she's like, they're really nice and I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And her friend is like, who cares about their feelings? Like, you know, you have a good time. You're just trying to get with this guy. Like, that's all that matters. Like, that's not a good friend. Who would, that's, no, no. A good friend would have been like, at the dinner, at the beginning of the movie, yeah, tell them who you are. Cause they still might've invited you along and they still might've done all that stuff. You still could have gotten to know them. 
to know. You still could have gotten to know Tech Guy. Also, there's this like uh, like this this side plot with the the roommate. She like ordered some food, and the delivery guy who brought it to her it was like he was like she was like oh my god he's really hot. And then they were like flirting, and he did this weird thing with his tongue where he was like, Ugh. and I was like, oh, I'm sorry that I just did it. I'm sorry I just did it to you, but it was really that is also happening okay but here is what is crazy here's what's crazy so they've had their day of skiing they've had a day of fun they are back at the house it's nighttime she zoe is like oh yeah i'm gonna go you know get in the hot tub because it's like to like soak all my muscles because i fell a whole bunch like does anyone else want to come and she's like looking around but then she's like looking at miles but she's like looking around but she's like looking at Miles, oh, Miles, that's his name, that's Tech Guy, she's looking at, anyways, and the little sister's like, I'll go, and she's like, yay, so then her and the little sister in the hot tub, the little sister threatens her not to hurt her brother, and they're chit-chatting, and then Tech Guy comes outside, he's like, you guys want s'mores, I'm gonna make some s'mores, he tells her to go get the stuff, and then he gets in the hot tub with Zoe, and so then they're talking, and he's like, yeah, so like, are you and my cousin exclusive and he's like leaning in and he's like are you guys exclusive or like what's whatever and she's like oh like and then he's like yeah because you know like I don't know whatever your situation is but you know I think we might be a lot more compatible and well and like whatever and just first of all to go after your cousin's girl and you're like close cousin you're not like like I have I I have so many cousins I would never I would never, if my cousin had some guy who she had been dating for a few weeks and we're, I meet them, we're all hanging out and I'm vibing with him, I would never. <gasps> the disrespect, the betrayal. Oh my, I, he's terrible for that. He's terrible for that. Then he kisses her. <gasps> shame shame on you shame on your cow and you know what in the very next scene after they kiss because then the little girl comes back and they spring apart like oh whatever and they have s'mores whatever who cares that happens off scene cuts to the next morning she's all giddy coming down the stairs and she's like oh where is everybody because she wants to know where where's miles where's tech guy they're like, oh yeah, you know, so and so is going doing this, and so and so is doing that, and oh yeah, he's on the phone with Emily. Who's Emily? Oh yeah, that's his girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. Yes, he has a girlfriend. That's that's what you get for entering into the situation. You should have just been sh truthful and straight with everybody up front, and then you could have, you know, done whatever, like gone after a tech guy on your own without all of this stuff happening number one number two everyone thinks that you're dating soccer guy and you're just flirting and doing all this stuff with tech guy without caring about the optics because the only reason he the only reason he felt so comfortable to be like well are you guys exclusive because you know i think we're much more compatible and i think blah, 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 is because you're throwing out all these signs saying hey Hey, look at me, tech guy. And he was like, okay. And so then you guys made it in the hot tub for like a hot second. What I think is going to happen next is she's going to there. She's going to be all feeling whatever in her feelings about him having a girlfriend. And he's going to say some line about maybe them either not being exclusive or, oh, you know, they're broken up, but they still chat or they're still fr like some, some line whatever and then i think that for the rest of the weekend they're going to be sneaking around so we'll see but yeah so i'm going to keep watching the movie and i'll be back Alrighty, so we got to the next part of the movie so after she finds out that tech guy has a girlfriend she confronts him and he's like what's the big deal like you're dating my cousin plus me and my girlfriend are poly so it doesn't matter and she like lets it slip she's like we're not dating and he's like what are you talking about she's like it doesn't matter and like storms off so she's mad at him and decides to stay at the house with soccer guy because he can't
can't go skiing because of the concussion so he's just been hanging out at the house by himself basically so the tech guy is all like sad or whatever that she's not coming they all leave zoe and soccer guy are hanging at the house they are uh they're vibing they're having little moments they're playing chess they're playing jenga they're playing paper football or i guess they were saying paper soccer because they're he's a soccer player and she's a soccer player they're just chit-chatting and stuff and then Zoe's like oh my gosh like I really like him and he's like surprising her and like tech guy is what she thought she would want and like every like because they're so similar and compatible and whatever whereas you know a uh, soccer guy is like, oh, you know, with the opposites attract, you know, balances her out type of vibe. So it's like, oh, which one is actually best for her? So they're hanging out. They're having a snowball fight. He accidentally hits her in the head with the snowball and has like this deja vu moment of the soccer ball hitting her in the head because that's how they met. He kicked the soccer ball, hit her in the head. Um, and so she's like, I gotta tell you something, but then they get interrupted. And so then she's on the phone with her friend and she's like, I gotta tell him because like we're having this whatever, but he thinks that I'm someone else and this is going to blow everything up. Whatever my feelings or whatever we could be, it's gonna be blown up because this is deceptive like what I'm doing. And of course, the best friend is on her BS and she's just like, no, keep doing it. Like, it's fine. Like, you know, you didn't know all this stuff was going to happen. Like, it is with you. It's always like, no, I can't. But then her friend is like, but if you tell him, it could mess up his mind. And so that's the whole reason why they can't say anything but anyway so then she goes back and she's hanging out with soccer guy the rest of the day and then they're making faces at each other during dinner and then they're like snuggling on the couch and she's talking to him and she's like I, you know i hope that when you know your memories come back and like we get back to school and everything that we can still hang out and like you will think badly of me and he's like what are you talking about and she's just kind of like it's fine like you'll understand what I mean later but yeah so then the weekend is over and they're heading back home so she spent one the first day of the weekend she spent with tech guy the second day she spent with soccer guy so she you know she had her moments with them both they both had their pros and cons although clearly soccer guy is like oh you know the one because tech guy he's just a little bit too cold a little bit too detached like even though they had these like sweet moments he's just really like nonchalant and like uncaring about certain things where it's like you know like just because you don't believe in love doesn't mean you can't believe in empathy like just basic what empathy there was this really cute scene with Zoe and soccer guy when they were playing chess that was funny because she kept beating him because he she was teaching him how to play and then she kept beating him that was a funny scene so they each had their cute funny scenes with tech guy it was the snowboarding and her falling and then you had soccer guy was the chess scene those two were cute moments let's wrap this up and get into the end of the movie the, the truth has to come out also i forgot to mention this earlier i wholeheartedly believe with my full chest that they're setting it up for zoe to end up with soccer guy and here's why the other zoe that he was actually dating who's on vacation in the bahamas with his with her parents they have they keep like cutting to her and she's just being like really awful and bratty and spoiled to like to her parents like screaming at them about how it's better that like if he's not responding he better be dead and she's like going through the roster of all the girls on the soccer team trying to figure out she's like he's ghosting me he's met somebody else he's replaced me i bet it was this girl you know i i should have never talked to her because she's whatever like she just going off and then she's screaming at her parents like you need to book a flight because i need to get back and find out like just extra too much and that's how i know they want so to end up with soccer guy when whatever's happening between soccer guy and the other zoe ends you don't want to feel bad for the other zoe so now they're showing her being awful to this whole time because they don't want you to feel bad but also like the other zoe and soccer guy have been dating for like two or three weeks you just met like it sometimes it doesn't work out okay but anyways let's let's finish the movie shall we okay the cat is out 
of the bag! Um, <laughs> they're on their way home from the ski trip. They pull up to the house. In the car ride home, Zoe and soccer guy are like holding hands and making goo goo eyes and <laughs> Tech guy just didn't, just whatever, he doesn't care anymore. He's like, whatever, he's just looking out the window with his headphones on, listening to so I don't know, I don't know who he's listening to, but anyways, they pull up to the house, and Zoe's trying to figure out how she can tell him the truth and like what manner she can tell him the truth. Soccer guy grabs her suitcase, and her suitcase has one of those little tags on it, and it has her name, her real name, because you know, she's not Zoe Wallace, she's Zoe Miller. So he's like, who is Zoe Miller? Like, you're, you're Zoe Wallace. At the same moment in time, this convertible speeds up and pulls up in front of the house. Out pops Zoe Wallace, and she's like, oh, so where have you been? I see what's going on, like you're doing whatever. And so now everyone's arguing, they're like, what is going on? Who are you, who are you Zoe our protagonist Zoe is like I can explain and she's like explaining what happened and she's like I'm really sorry I didn't mean it for it to like go do whatever and like I know what I did was wrong and that it was awful because I thought tech guy was cute and then we had our moment me and soccer guy and whatever and she's like I know it was awful and they're just like yeah like that was wrong and she's like yeah I'm sorry and then she leaves she is on the phone with her friend her roommate as she's like being like oh my gosh this happened i can't believe it this was so stupid why did i do this like this was a mistake all of this stuff so she's like everything was awful and this is that and the other and then her roommate is like yeah it really sucks that you know this happened like it whatever and then zoe is like i, I should have never listened to you and the roommate is like oh so you're saying this is my fault yeah because i listened to your advice now they're arguing and the roommate is like, well, you, I just, like, you, you never like a guy, so I just wanted to, like, encourage you because you like this guy. And then Zoe's like, well, why would you think that, like, the situation would be, like, what's conducive to, like, finding someone? Like, that's crazy. What do you know about love? You've never been in love, and it's that and the other. And the roommate is like, so what if I've never been in love? But actually, I met this guy, and we're together now. Which is crazy for her to be like, yeah, I know what love is now because she's been dating a guy for two days. That's how long she's known this guy. The roommate met this guy the first night that Zoe was out of town. So actually, she's known him for a day and a night. And she's like, yeah, so now I know what love is. And then she flips her hair. And I'm just kidding. So they're arguing. Zoe calls her roommate's poetry stupid. And then she gets sad and mad about that. So the roommate storms off. And then what I thought was crazy, because she was like, and you know, because I've been dating this guy, but I didn't even want to tell him about you because we've been, we've, uh, I've had to been so wrapped up in all of your drama. You created this drama. You, listen, ultimately, Zoe's the one who is in control of her own choices and her own decisions and her own actions but when she was asking for help because she didn't know what to do and there were moments where she could have done the right thing you were in her ear the whole time be like no you need to do this you need to do that you need to do that telling her to do the wrong thing time and time and time again also getting mad be like oh we've all been caught up in your drama like blah 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 as if like it's been like months and months or years and years and like Zoe's the type of person that just makes everything about herself it's been two days it's been two days two and a half because if you count the first half of the day where the accident it's been two and a half days where this drama happened and it's been about that's typically if there's something dramatic happening in your friend group that's like really big yeah there might it might be like a day or two where it's about that friend because the drama is happening and it's happening right now and we need updates we need the tea as the friends we need all the information so that we can give advice accordingly so that was weird that she was getting mad being like oh the drama it's it's not like it's been like months again months and years of her making it about herself it's been two and a half days and a lot of this drama happened because you were insisting for her to choose these paths that led to more drama again i do not like the roommate i do not like her her hair is so cute but she was not being a good friend and her reasoning for telling zoe to do all that stuff is because she was like well you've never been in love and you're so anti-love and you've never liked a guy before okay it'll happen again i'm gonna finish the movie and then we'll be done with that I have finished the movie, so I shall catch you up on what happened. So, I don't know if they go to like a small college or something, but after Zoe, the other Zoe, confronts, you know, the whole revelation happens at 
his parents' house when Zoe, the protagonist, gets back to school and she's going to class on Monday. Everybody's whispering about her, like, oh my gosh, she stole Zoe Wallace's identity and she hooked up with um, Miles and Zach and oh, she's pregnant with their baby. Like, like everybody, everybody, everybody is talking. I would never show my face if I was her. I can't believe she, like all this stuff. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's whispering about it. So yeah, I guess they go to like a really small college because the campus doesn't look very big. She gets so fed up that she storms out of class. She runs into soccer guy and the other Zoe, like being cute, eating ice cream and like goes off in the opposite direction and then she's like sulking in her room for however many days. She lost soccer guy Zach, her best friend and her an argument. She goes home the next weekend or at some point. I don't know when this actually happened. I don't know if she just left in the middle of the school week. I don't know. But she goes home to see her mom and her mom doesn't live close by. Zach's parents live close by like where they can go drive and he can go whatever. She had to fly to somewhere else because there's like a little clip of like a air airport and airplanes taking off. So she flew somewhere to go see her mother and she tells her mom what happened or her mom is basically like encouraging her her mom is just like you know follow your heart and all this stuff so then she goes back and she makes amends with her best friend and they're like oh whatever the girl at the beginning of the movie who did the presentation about valentine's day goes up to zoe and like extends an olive branch she's like i get what you're going through like he's like i will not hold grudges just because you were rude to me at the beginning of the movie i will not be rude back to you She's like, we're throwing this party on campus and we want you to help us build a website. And so then, so it's like, cool. So then she starts focusing all her energy on building this website for this dance. There's got to be a dance. She builds the website. It's like this thing where people at the dance can like stream directly to the website. So you click on the website, you can click through different people's uh, like live streams and photos that they're sharing at the event because it's all like geotagged or whatever. whatever for sciencey stuff they used to describe it so she makes the website she's like her friend is like you gotta come and she's like i'm not going to the dance like i don't want to see them there together i'm gonna be sad and her friend is like come on she's like no so then her friend goes to the party with her new boyfriend and then while they're at the party they see the other zoe macking on some other guy so then she's calling and she's like zoe 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 zoe's not answering her phone died she's like a like in the living room listening to a sad podcast about whales or something I don't remember she comes back home she's like so you gotta come to the party they broke up he's at the party you need to tell him how you feel and so he's like no and then she's like yes you need to do it right now grand gesture time like so Zoe rushes to the dance it's almost over people are leaving and then uh, I hate this scene it's not just in this movie it's in any thing ever where there's like a party or like maybe there's like a DJ or there's like some event where someone's on the stage and they're speaking and they're doing whatever and then someone hops up on the stage to interrupt whatever is happening so that they can give their big like oh I'm I just want to whatever their grand gesture speech whatever to their love interest I hate them so much it makes me cringe every time i don't like them there's other uh romance tropes that i do enjoy that i'm sure make you cringe we each have our own tastes i just this one i just don't i just i hate it so much i don't like it that's the way anyways that's what happens she hops up on the stage interrupts the dj she's like i'm looking for zach soccer guy uh people are mad they're like turn the music back on they're shouting this stuff at her zach soccer guy is like i'm here so then she goes off and then confesses her feelings and like all this stuff and how she's changed how she viewed love at the beginning of the movie and how knowing him and falling for him has changed her view and her perception of love and of relationships and stuff like that and he He's like, yeah, you know, we broke up with the other girl because she wasn't you and then they kissed and then someone, because again, like I said, it's a small college, so like everybody's in everybody's business and they're live streaming, someone points the phone, they're like, oh my gosh, and then all the little screens, which why are all of the screens pictures of them? All the screens show them kissing and everybody's like, wow, they're together because everybody really cared, I guess. That's how the movie ends. Everybody's all coupled up. They're in the movie fades to black.
and then there's like a cute little after credit scene or not after credit scene it was during the credits where like the screen is over here and the credits are going over here where he finally beat her at chess so some of my predictions about the movie were correct some of them were incorrect. I was not sure at first who they wanted her to end up with. It was not clear at the beginning. It could have been either way. Up until the point where you found out that tech guy had a girlfriend and then you saw the clip of the other Zoe acting a mess in the Bahamas. That's when it became clear. It's like, okay, they want her to be with soccer guy because they're setting these other characters up basically for you to not feel bad about them or not like care about them as much. The movie was cute. She did. She did kiss Zach while he had his amnesia like two or three times. So out of I'll say five stars. I would give this movie four stars. I'll give it four stars. That seems like a really high rating, but I don't really care. I enjoyed watching the movie. It was a fun watch. It was cute. It had moments that I liked. It had funny moments. There's like some like rom com type movies that you watch and you're just like, this is like really toxic. This is really, I don't like this. This is that and the other. It was cool. It was cute. I liked it. I had fun. I recommend watching it. It's not like a really heavy or like super intellectual thing. You can you can watch it casually, like while you're doing other stuff. You could sit down and watch it and tee hee hee with your friends and your family or whatever. But it was cute. It was funny. I liked it. I probably will never watch it again. But that's just kind of how I am with movies. Once I've seen it, I'm not gonna watch it again. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.